Hey, Will Brink here, www.brinkzone.com. And a topic I want to cover today is creatine added to the pre-workout drink. Uh, I've gotten a number of emails from people asking me why I don't recommend creatine in the pre-workout drink in my other video on pre-workout drinks uh, here on YouTube, so take a look at that. The reason you don't see uh, creatine in a pre-workout drink is there's no reason to put creatine in a pre-workout drink. And companies and people that add creatine to their pre-workout drink don't really uh, understand how creatine works. Creatine is not a stimulant. It's not, uh, it doesn't cause immediate energy like drinking a cup of coffee or something. Creatine works by a chronic effect. That is the effect on fossil creatine levels in the muscle tissue, which takes you know, days to weeks to increase. And that's why if you look at the, the video here uh, on timing, timing of creatine is not really important. Uh, there actually is some data uh, I've been told that is coming out that shows uh, creatine post-workout might actually be advantageous to other times of the day for absorption and retention, but I haven't read that yet. But the bottom line is that creatine in the pre-workout drink doesn't make any sense. And in fact, it's actually potentially a negative because as you've watched some of my other videos, such as the one uh, on creatine solubility, uh, creatine tends to draw water into the stomach. Uh, and so it can cause stomach problems for some. So if you take a bunch of creatine before you go to the gym, you actually increase your likelihood of having stomach problems and bloating of your stomach, uh, unless you uh, pre-solubilize it, which is again, another video, but there's no real point to it. If you're going to take uh, compounds or supplements specific to pre-workout, you obviously are timing these nutrients to do something specific for you in the workout. And whether that's caffeine, whether that's beta alanine or something else, uh, like I say, see my other video, which I'll link, uh, you want to pick those things for the pre-workout that add something to the workout specifically. You don't just take a bunch of kitchen sink stuff and dump them all in there, which again, unfortunately, uh, is a lot of pre-workout supplements and what a lot of people put into their pre-workout drinks. Pre-workout drinks should have specific, specific ingredients designed to have a specific effect on the actual workout. So that's why you do not see me recommend a creatine in a pre-workout drink. Now, if you want to put creatine in your pre-workout drink and you do not find it causes you any stomach issues or whatever, go right ahead. It's not going to do you any harm. I'm not saying it's, it's a problem, but it is a potential negative, as I said, for people with sensitive stomachs and people that are looking to maybe be targeted with their pre-workout drink versus just kind of throwing whatever they feel like in there. So I hope that information helps. Uh, if it does, please hit the like buttons, Twitter, uh, check me out on Facebook, and I'll see you all on the break zone.